The Placer County Megachurch has disobeyed state COVID prevention guidelines by holding indoor services, has now launched a so-called Placer Freedom Fund for small businesses faced with economic hardship by the COVID shutdown. CBS 13 Steve Large is live in Roseville with the businesses that have already signed up. Steve. Yeah, this church launched this website, PlasterFreedom.com, a week ago, and I'm scrolling through the website right now. You can see all of the businesses that have signed up since then, 170 so far by my count. Now, some of them are following state guidelines and some are very clearly not. In direct violation of state guidelines, dining in is available at Roseville's House of Oliver. We have not closed. Yeah. Owner Matthew Oliver is outspoken in his belief it's his right to continue operating no matter what the governor's guidelines say. The biggest struggle we've had has been mental, anxiety, uh, fear, concern. A sign outside the restaurant's door reads, masks are not required, and if this makes you feel uncomfortable, then this is not the place for you. So we've been labeled the rebel restaurant because we continue to stand for freedom. Hi, I'm Pastor Greg Farrington of Destiny Christian Church. Now, Destiny Christian Church in Rockland has started a business directory called PlasterFreedom.com and a freedom fund aimed at helping local businesses like House of Oliver's survive during the shutdown. To help them just kind of get through a little bit. For Destiny Christian Church, supporting state COVID guideline defiance is practicing what it's preached. They've continued to hold indoor services during the shutdown. The county public health department has not enforced any state guidelines. Not one time have we received a written violation. Not one time have we received a written citation. And not one time have we received a fine. Even with no citations, businesses in Placer County defying COVID restrictions can now turn to this church to help fund what they call their freedom. And according to Destiny Christian Church's most recent Facebook post, they say that they have raised about $20,000 to help these businesses through this Freedom Fund.